Good morning, teachers and fellow audience that are watching. My name is Melanie Sosingi from Fort Integrity. And for my PB, my science PBL project, I have chosen gene mutation albinism. So here is the content. And the, and the first one is, what is albinism? As you can see from these pictures, human, uh, with two little girls and a little boy. And this is a kangaroo that is albino, that has albinism in it. And these are two pictures of two Doberman. This white one has albinism and this one is how a normal uh, Doberman should look like. To the next one, characteristics of patients with albinism, which as you can see in this picture, this guy right here has albinism and the boy beside him is a normal, how a normal human pigment and hair should look like, the color. To the next, features of albinism. This, this is the irises of, uh, of a patient with albinism and it can be seen like the light is reflecting and you can see the iris is, is red in color and next feature of albinism skin so as you can see this little girl right here her hair is white white in color and you can see this boy right here her his hair is brown color so this is the color range for albinism, for patients with albinism. Next one, treatment for albinism. Because albinism is a genetic disorder, it can not be cured. Treatment focuses on getting proper eye care and monitoring skin for signs of abnormalities. Your care team or patients with albinism's care team may involve of primary care doctors or doctors specializing in eye care, ophthalmologists, skin care dermatologists, and genetics. Treatment generally includes eye care, skin care, and prevention of skin. Leucemia is an inherited blood disorder in which the body produces an abnormal form of hemoglobin or oxygen-carrying protein. Presence of faulty hemoglobin results in large-scale destruction of red blood cell, which leads to anemia. For parents that have or carry this disorder are advised to not have a child because the child have 75% for carrying or having this disorder for the rest of their life. About 100,000 babies worldwide are born with severe forms of thalassemia each year. Treatment of thalassemia depends on the type and severity. The treatment for the severe form of disease often includes regular blood transfusions, iron chelation therapy, and process by which excess iron from the body and supplementation of folic and acid. Hi teachers, my name is Noor Amir Natasha from 4 Integrity and today I'm going to show you my presentation about gene mutation um, color blindness. So this is the e-poster of genetic mutation color blindness that I've made. What is color blindness? Color blindness is a defect in vision that makes it difficult or impossible for a person to distinguish between or among colors. There are three causes for a person to be color blind. First is genetic. Color blindness is caused by the X-linked genes. Males are usually affected because they only need one X, where females need both. This child must have had a parent carrier. How about the symptoms? The symptoms vary. Some people may be able to see every color but not distinguish red or green. Other may not be able to see blue or yellow. Lastly, some people may not be able to see shades of black, gray, and white. This, however, is very rare. 
There are also tests for color blindness such as pseudo-isochromatic plate test, Ishihara test, transformation plate, and vanishing plate. Is there any treatment for color blindness, you might ask? Well, currently, there's no treatment, but some people use filters such as goggles and tinted contact lenses to help them distinguish the colors but not in the identification of colors. There's also genotherapy. In September 2009, the journal Nature reported that researchers at the University of Washington and University of Florida were able to give trichromatic vision to squirrel monkeys, which normally have only dichromatic vision using gene therapy. Good evening, teacher. My name is Muhammad Faran from 4P. Today, I would like to present about chromosome mutation. The disease that I'm choose is Down syndrome. Firstly, key risk factor for Down syndrome. There is one key risk factor for Down syndrome, maternal age. A 25-year-old woman has a 1 in 1,200 chance to having a baby with Down syndrome. By 25, the risk has increased to 1 in 350 by age 40 to 1 in 100 and by 49 is 1 in 10 according to the national down syndrome society the most commonly observed adverse effects firstly aggressive behaviors secondly slow learning and thirdly poor judgment characteristic of down syndrome a flattened face especially the bridge of the nose secondly they have a short neck Lastly, they have small hands and feet. Treatment for Down syndrome is behavioral therapies, physical therapies, speech therapies, occupational therapies. All from me. Thank you. A very good evening to Mr. Kairo and for anyone else who may be watching this video. This is my PBL Science Project. The gene mutation I have chosen for this is Klinefelter syndrome. Now, what is Klinefelter syndrome? Klinefelter syndrome is a sex chromosome disorder in boys and men that results from the presence of an extra X chromosome in cells. What this means is, usually people have 46 chromosomes, but a person with Klinefelter syndrome has an extra X chromosome, making it 47. Now, what are the characteristics of a person with Klinefelter syndrome? Boys and men with Klinefelter syndrome typically have small testes that produce a reduced amount of testosterone. A, sor a shortage of testosterone can lead to delayed or incomplete puberty, breast enlargement, decreased muscle mass, decreased bone density, and a reduced amount of facial and body hair. Now, what are the effects? Individuals with Klinefelter syndrome tend to have anxiety, depression, impaired social skills, behavioral problems such as emotional immaturity and impulsiveness, tension deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and limited problem solving skills. Now, what are the pre can we prevent or treat this? Unfortunately, there are no methods for prevention and there is no cure for Klinefelter syndrome, but there is treatment. Possible treatments include testosterone replacement therapy, speech and language therapy during childhood to help with speech development and educational and behavioral support at school to help with any learning, learning difficulties or behavioral problems. Klinefelter syndrome can be caused by one extra copy of the X chromosome in each cell XX1, the most common cause. It can also be caused when more than one extra copy of the X chromosome. And there is more than one extra copy of the X chromosome which is a rare and results in a severe form. And here are pictures of a person with Klinefelter syndrome and karyotype of the person with Klinefelter syndrome. Hello, I'm Trinity from 4P. Today I will present the research that I'm doing, which is the chromosome mutation. The disease that I choose is Turner syndrome. A person with Turner syndrome has less number of sex chromosomes compared to a normal person. The total number of chromosomes is 45 chromosomes only. 
a female with Turner syndrome has a missing X chromosome and will not undergo the development of secondary sexual characteristics of a female. Some of the characteristics of Turner syndrome is short neck. Features of Turner syndrome may include a short neck with a weak appearance, low hairline at the back of the neck, low set ears, hands and feet that are swollen or puffy at birth and soft nails that turn upward. The most commonly effect is short stature, non-functioning ovaries which cause infertility, skeletal abnormalities, heart defects, high blood pressure, and kidney problems. What are the causes for Turner syndrome? The reason behind the absence of an X chromosome may be because of an error in the father's sperm or in the mother's egg. This result in every cell having only one X chromosome. In certain cases, an error occurs in cell division during initial stage of fetal development. This result in some cells having two copies of the X chromosome. Other cells contain only one copy of the X chromosome. There is a treatment for Turner syndrome, which is the hormone replacement therapy. The hormone replacement therapy is usually started at the time of normal puberty, around 12 years. The objective to increase height as much as possible at the right time during childhood and teen years. Growth hormone treatment is given in the injection form several times a week. In addition, the doctor may recommend an androgen called oxenrolin. And that's all from me.